All right, group uh, one here. This is almost can almost be treated as a warm up too, if you wanted to use this uh, before moving on to any other circuits. But just three movements here, all body weight. Uh, first one is a balance reach. So as you can see, she has a slight bend on that stance leg, that right leg. So we don't want it stiff. We don't want that knee locked. Just a, a slight bend. Uh, hinge from the hip and then try and get nice and long. So you see she does a nice job of getting just about parallel with the ground. She fully extends. I like to reach the arms forward and think of extending that heel towards the back wall. So that's a good way to try to get nice and long. So reach the arms out, hinge from the hip, and press that heel towards the wall behind you. Uh, so you get nice and long the whole time. Okay, second exercise is a W exercise, a great exercise for the uh, the lower traps, which are typically inactive on a lot of people. Uh, a lot of us have overactive upper traps, uh, but that mid trap and lower trap are, are typically uh, inactive due to, due to a lot of sitting and things like that, so uh, poor posture. So this is a great postural exercise uh, and a great exercise to help activate and, and, and kind of warm up that backside. So, it's called a W for the obvious reason there. The body, the, or sorry, the arms are in a W position. Uh, elbows are down. Lead with the thumbs. Pull back and pull those shoulder blades and try to squeeze those shoulder blades together uh, behind you. And then from there, go right into a plank position. Pretty common uh, movement. There's a number of variations you can do, but this one will just keep pretty straightforward. Try to uh, line up elbows right underneath the shoulders, uh, keep the toes tucked, keep the abs braced, uh, nice neutral spine throughout, and, and hold for time anywhere from 30 seconds uh, up to uh, one minute. Okay, for this first exercise in the B group, we've got, we're going to start with a reverse lunge. So we're alternating legs, keeping the head and chest up tall, stepping back onto the ball of the foot and dropping that knee towards the ground but not touching. Some good control on the way down and notice that nice upright posture so we're not pitching too far forward. Driving through that back leg and the front leg. Think of zipping yourself up as you come up tall. Next exercise is a push-up. Now there's a number of push-up variations. First we're going to show from the knees. Okay, She's got her hands slightly turned out about 20 degrees as well as the elbow. So the elbows aren't too tight to the body and they're not way out either. So uh, kind of find that happy medium range, 45, 20 to 45 degrees. Here's just a traditional push-up. Like all the exercises, you want that nice strong core throughout. So a nice neutral spine. And then a more advanced version would be a Spider-Man push-up here. We're on the way down. She's bringing that knee towards the same side wrist. One more. Good. Third exercise in the B group is a hip hike. So what we're going to do is stack the feet. And then make sure we have that elbow directly under the shoulder so there's no issues with the shoulder joint. Top hand's going on the hip. And then we're just lowering that bottom hip towards the ground. And then piking up nice and high towards the sky or ceiling. Good, show two more. And again, a nice neutral spine. And rest, good.
All right, so the first exercise is a lateral plyo called a skater. So what she's doing is pushing off that outside foot and then reaching down with the inside arm towards that ground. Back and forth, so it's more of a lateral exercise, working the outside of the legs and glutes. One more. Good. Next exercise is a good old burpee. There's a couple of variations, but we're going to do a full burpee where there's a hop at the top and a full push-up at the bottom. So she you just arms up and reach, hop back down into a push-up position and just repeat that exercise for the desired reps. Let's go one more. Good. And right back down for a leg lift. Now this exercise, she's got an object right above her head. You can use anything you have around the house, something that's going to hold you in position there. And what we're going to do is start from that tabletop, and she's tucking her knees up towards her shoulders, so she's actually peeling her low back off the ground. Now the progressions on this will, uh, can get pretty, pretty challenging, so if she goes on the way down just to that tabletop right there and then pulls the knees back in, it'll make it more challenging on the way down. She's going to straighten her legs all the way out. You need to be careful of that anterior tilt of that low back though. We want to keep that in a neutral position, so if she starts to hyperextend and really get that lumbar extended, we don't want to go too far, so it depends on your ability and that core strength that's going to determine how far you go out. That's good. 